Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Ephesians chapter 6, 4 says, And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and the admonition of the Lord, or the nurture and admonition of the Lord. That idea that you and I have a responsibility as parents uh, to bring the, bring the children up in the nurture and the admonition of of the Lord. That means in the knowledge of God and God's word and his church and how they are to conduct themselves in life. Um, and I fear that we're, we're failing as a society, is, as a whole, and also within the church of training our children in such a way that uh, they, they revere the word of God and they choose to live according to that. And they, they are they're accountable to their parents and how they act and how they talk uh, to adults and so forth. And it's important that you and I understand our responsibility as parents to discipline our children, to get them where they need to be. Discipline can uh, comes in many forms. We understand that. Uh, we discipline them um, to, to get up at a certain time, to be where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. Uh, to not arrive on late, to arrive, not arrive late, uh, to not make excuses. Let your word be your bond, and we hold them accountable for those things. Uh, we 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 discipline them spiritually in in the sense that we encourage them to read their Bible, we encourage them to pray, we encourage them, and we take them to church, we take them to vacation Bible school, we take them to Sunday school in the in the children's programs in the church. So that they, 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 we get them in as, as many uh, areas of, of the gospel and we get them under as many uh, godly influences of the men and women in the church who will encourage them in their growth and their understanding of God's word. Amen. And so it's important. These things are important in, in uh, training them up and in nurturing the admonition of the Lord. We have a responsibility Paul is saying in the book of Ephesians, we have a responsibility to pass our faith on to another generation. Yes, we understand it's our responsibility to raise good citizens so that they understand the, the discipline of work, to, to work hard, to not be a leech on society or be a leech on you. There are 40 years old living in your basement somewhere playing video games all day because they don't want to find a job. And yes, that's that does happen, um, and it shouldn't happen. You can't allow it to happen. Teach your children how to work, to get out there and find a job, uh, to understand the benefits of working. It, it makes them feel good uh, in so many areas of our, our, of our life. And let me encourage you with this as well. Proverbs thirteen twenty four says, He that spareth the rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him, chasten him, chasten him be times. That means that you and I have a responsibility to teach them the consequences of defiance, of, 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 of defying the rules of the home, talking back, disrespect, and so forth. And we're not talking about abuse. We're not talking about a prolonged um, discipline, you know, you're going to stay in your room, um, you know, for, for a month. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about you're dealing with the situation right then and there. And he says, he who loves his child will do this. I, I guarantee you my dad must have loved his son. Talking about me because he, he did not spare the rod or the belt or the, um, the switch or whatever else that he could to make sure that I did not act out of, uh, out of line. I did not lie to him. I did not uh, uh, embarrass him in some way, you know, back talking or back talking a, uh, an adult or, or whatever else. I, I understood the consequences of my actions. And I dare say the problem outside of society, uh, outside of the church, in society and in the church is that these children are not being raised with respect for their elders. They're not listening to them 
and they're, uh, they, they run their mouth when they should be listening. And their, their, their opinions may be important, but they're certainly not more important than an adult. And I know that's going to upset some people, but that's a fact of the matter. We used to say um, a ch that children should be seen and not heard. I know that when we were growing up and we had family coming over, you had an adult table and you had a children's table. And, uh, and you, the children stayed with the children, and the adults stayed with the adults. And, uh, but today, we, we don't have that. We don't have that sense of, of honoring and respecting uh, the adults. And we've, we've created a generation uh, where the children think the world revolve around them, and uh, that the parents are there to, to make, uh, to, do what they want rather than the other way around. We're in trouble as a society, and we better be, uh, and I dare say we're on that way in the church, and I hope that's not true in your home, and that you understand your responsibility to raise your children and encourage your children to raise your grandchildren in such a way. And as a grandparent, you need to step back and let them discipline that child um, and, and not try to coddle those children, those, the, your grandchildren, and keep them from learning the, um, the lessons that they need to learn in order to be a productive member, not only in society, but also in the church and the work and the work of the Lord. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. I'll talk to you soon.